Good morning everybody. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to run the Mina USB patcher in your Windows PC. So why would you need a USB Mina patcher in the first place? So this would actually apply if you have a disabled or passcode locked iPhone. And you would want to jailbreak it, but you can't because your computer would not detect your device. Apple has designed their iPhones in this way for obvious security reasons. And the Mina USB patcher actually is the fix for that. So let's go ahead and begin. So first thing, you would need these five tools, guys. So first is the Balena Etcher, the Rain USB image, a Transmac software, and of course a USB flash drive that is 16 gigabytes or 32 gigabytes in size. I've already downloaded this files on my PC, so I'm ready to start mounting the Rain USB image into my flash drive. Before we actually do that, I'd like to show you here the PDF guide for the Transmac. So there are two versions, the AMD and the Intel version. So depending on chipset or processor, then you would need to download the right one. I provided the download links in the description below. So let's start. Open Balena Etcher. Find or locate the Rain USB image that you have downloaded and make sure that you're flashing the correct drive and then hit the start button. So it's gonna flash, it's gonna take a few couple of minutes. For this recording, I'm just gonna pause and skip through that part that it finishes. And there you go, we're already finished flashing. So let's open Transmac and see what's inside the flash drive. So you're gonna get this message, access denied, just click hit okay. And if you see this, just ignore and then select multi-flash drive and then open that folder HFS go to applications folder where we can see all the apps that are installed in this flash disk so recall that I've said five tools so the last one would be the Mina USB file and the check rain 10.1 or 10.2 depending on what you prefer I've also provided the links below you just need to download them and just prepare them for this. I have it already in here. So I have here the 10.1 and the Mina USB apps. I'm just going to drag that in the desktop. So let's go back to Transmac and you're in the Applications folder. You're just going to have to copy them in there. By hovering your mouse on the right side, right click and then select Copy here. And then locate or find the file that you wanted to copy, the 0.10.1 app. So it's copying now guys. And then we'll repeat the same process for the Mina USB patcher. So it's copying. And there now we can see that both the files are already in that folder. And now we're going to run Rain USB in our boot menu. So let's go ahead and shut down the PC. So guys, on this part, right after your screen boots up, you just have to press F9. But this all depends on your motherboard configuration because it varies depending on your BIOS and your motherboard. So for my case, I press F9 and then we'll go to enter setup. So you can see here that um, this is our motherboard configuration or your, our BIOS configuration. And what's notable here is that you have to go to the sorry let me just go back you have to find your image virtualization so in my case um, here so you have to enable that so as you can see here, my image virtualization is actually enabled. 
And then another thing that we have to do here is the, um, what do you call this? Where is that? Secure boot, okay. So for secure boot, you have to make sure that that's disabled. That's it. So once we're done, we've done that, then we can go ahead and save the changes and reset. And then it will restart. And you just have to do press 9 again to enter the boot menu. So you can see there, guys, I have F9 as an option. We have options. We have the multi flash reader and we have the the hard drive so for this we're gonna have to select UEFI enter that so you will be taken into the Clover configurator so we'll just have to enter that right immediately um, boot from the Mac OS this might take a couple of minutes to load so you have to be patient with it And now we're taken to the screen, just have to continue this. Just have to click continue guys and then click on agree and then at this point you just have to close this window and then go to utilities and then run terminal so guys once you are under the screen you're just gonna have to type in cd forward slash applications forward slash mina usb dot app forward slash contents forward slash mac os and then hit enter and then to run the mina usb patcher you're gonna have to type in period or dot forward slash mina usb and there you go guys you can see in the background that the mina usb is launched so it's grayed out because you don't have a device connected to it but if you do connect one you will see that it will not be grayed out let me try that for you So I have here an iPhone 10, um, and I'm just gonna connect the device. So there you go guys, you can see that the patcher would actually read the device and it has the U, UID details and the device connected is iPhone 10 under iOS 13.4. So we are going to just click the button to do the patching. So if you have a disabled or a passcode locked iPhone, you can then proceed with the regular jailbreak process. So I'm not going to do that right now because I'm not on a disabled state, but this is just for demonstration purposes. So guys, I hope this video helps and um, good luck and hope you learn this tutorial. See you on the next video.